very warm welcome to Eye on the Money, the television show that gives you insights into how to improve your financial well-being as well as make your money work for you. I'm Ingrid Nantege. Now, unfortunately, I'm so sad. Today we wrap up our series with Syntonomy, but we're doing it with a bang. And with just a matter of weeks left to the festive season, today we've decided to give you practical tips on how to prepare for the holidays. Now, whilst the latest tech gadget or even a brand new pair of socks are usually very welcome gifts, um, debt and financial worries are certainly not. But unfortunately, once the excitement of Christmas is over, that's what some of us could face come January. The good news? With a bit of financial planning, you can avoid the dreaded Christmas debt hangover and see in the new year stress-free. Joining me on the show today to tell us how this can be done is none other than Rubin Jonjo, Entrepreneur Program Manager at Syntonomy. You're welcome to the show, Ruby. Thank you, Ingrid, for having me. Are I'm delighted to be here. Are you as I am? <laughs> yes, I Ellie. am. It's been so great. I feel great. like there's so much. We've had such a good time, and I'd really like us to just continue. We need so to we figure out how to continue. Again, then, no? right? Yes, I'd be happy to. But I'm so glad you've made the time to come and talk to us about the festive season. Yes. And I really feel like at least we've had this conversation in good time. That way people have ample time to prepare. Yes, absolutely. Now, Ruby, before we even get into the conversation at hand, we usually mm -hmm. like to take to the streets of Nairobi to see what the people feel about the mm -hmm. a topic of conversation for the day. Mm -hmm. So we did that, just that. Oh, okay. Before, I used to spend, and then uh, when it comes to January, uh, there are some, some challenges. Uh, mostly you find that uh, uh, you overspent. And uh, from January, you only recover at uh, around April. Well, I'm very smart when it comes to the Christmas Eve. One, I must be more than a careful because January is very challenging. So in other words, I have to save the money and spend little and avoid a lot of movement, especially when I'm with my family. That's only the way you can overcome. If you overspend, then you'll have a problem in January. As you are aware, the, the system of education has changed. We are, they are crossing like one month or a month and a half. So... To have enough money to educate my kids, I need to spend less uh, preparing for the for the next year January. Ata yo mambo ya kwenda nyumbani, zvi unanulia roto nguo, zvi nini nguo inanulia any time. Anaweza va ile ulimununulia ata two months ago. Si lazima ununue wakati wa festive. Alafu chakula si nile watu wanakula kila siku. Eh nile watu wanakula kila siku. So hata kwa mimi nataka chapati na alikula ata chapati jana. So at least na jaribu ku minimize hiyo budget ya 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 wakati wa Christmas ndio January ikifika unajipanga unajua ile kidogo nimebakisha itanisukuma mpaka mwisho wa mwezi upate pesa zingine tena Christmas lazima nitumie pesa So there is some money that I put aside for maybe fees ya mtoto jumtoto lazima aende shule So kuna pesa ya matumizi ya wakati wa Christmas na ya mtoto pia iko. So uh, I can say na kuanga niko sawa. Mimi na kuanga broksa zote kwa bana. Mimi ni mama mbiashara. Na kila wakati ni tu tunakuwa tu block kila wakati lakini kwa kama sana sana January ikifika watu kuwa broke sana njoo hapo tumetoka Christmas tumetumia pesa. Sasa hapo tunarudisha watoto shule. I wouldn't say broke because you need to know how to budget and know what you need, what you don't need. So if you plan yourself well, you won't be broke. It is all about saving and the proper budgeting for the January. In, 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 for example, if you have been spending maybe uh, 30,000 in Christmas use, do it halfway. Spend 15. Less clothes to your families and all that. Less spending to big places and all that. And the men like us used to avoid a lot of spending in clubs and all that, uh, taking people outside and all that. This is all the way. Less pressure will come. We try to copy some people's uh, life, how they, they spend, without maybe knowing their source of income. So it's a matter of maybe being yourself, live your life, and at least if maybe you don't have enough uh, source of income, try to utilize the one that you have, so that it can sort you when uh, maybe it comes to those uh, ty trying moments. Mutu mwenyewe ndio anafaa kujipanga kulingana na nguvu yake. Kwa sababu uwezi kwenda kwa duka uingia kwa uchumi, uweza kusukua vitu, ukizaza kwa troll na una hiyo pesa. 
ni lazima kama pesa yako ni ya mkate moja uigie uenda usikue mkate moja utoke kwa hivyo hata december sio lazima ati uende uende kiamaiko ununue mbusi ukuje usije na unajua januari shule inahitaji you need to plan yourself you need to set the amount you need to use you need to have a budget and then uh, you should spend uh, the excitement which comes with the you know the the season and uh, at least you should at the back of your mind you should know that uh, you know there are responsibilities coming uh, and as you know these days there is not a lot of uh, cash flow so that means if you don't plan yourself with the little you have uh, there will be issues uh, you know the next the coming year the more you live the more you understand um, I, i have to use this this month for the next month i also have to use this so by the time um, January ifike kama unapata 60000 utakuwa umejua ya kwamba 40000 nimeiweka ndatumia kitu fla kitu flani so ni mtu tu kujipanga hakuna kukuwa broke as long as you planning yourself well you need to know what you need like if it's in your household the things you need um, your transport everything so you know if you know in a week you need to travel this times of this number of times in town you need to arrange how you're going to go and everything and you put the specific things you need for your house like bread and everything or tea whatever you need now ruby yes the festive season is very fast approaching. Now mm. we're well into November. Yes. But we all know like with a lot of excitement that comes with the festive season also comes the aftermath yes. of the festive season. Correct. Now just to pick your mind as someone who really deals in personal finance and really talks to people about money habits, mm. why first of all do you think we always have a situation whereby every single year yes. without any fail and yeah. Ruby I'm one of those people <laughs> also. Yes. Whenever we get out of the festive season, we've had such a great time, mm. there's always that extreme poverty that mm. comes with it. Why do you think we're always somehow faced with this situation year in, year out? Okay, that's a really good question, Ingrid. And first of all, just to start by saying festivities are exciting. We get excited. We are happy to just celebrate, to bond with family, to enjoy ourselves. But what we don't do, Ingrid, is we don't plan. We get into December with a lot of excitement. Yes, we know there's January, but we jump straight into it and we are so excited and we go and celebrate and we have fun only to get to the end and wonder, oh no, what are we going to do next? So that I think is the major challenge for a lot of us. Mm -hmm. We don't plan. So we find ourselves, yes, you have a lot of fun, but it ends in grief, in sadness, in complications. And we're there wondering, oh no, is it January? What are we going to do? Yeah. So Ruby, even as we talk and I at least for myself, yes. I'll be a testimony and say you're right about <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah. With me it's probably yes. because of lack of ample planning. Mm. But also, if you look at a situation where throughout the year you've had all these other things to worry about. I mean, yes. you're not only looking forward to Christmas, right? Yes. You've gone through the whole motions of the whole year, mm. struggling with whatever you're struggling with. So maybe sometimes um, the festivities might not always come top of mind when it comes to the planning aspect. Yeah. So I would like to ask mm -hmm. If it comes to planning to avoid the situation that we've been talking about in January, how Correct. soon is too soon to start okay. planning? So I don't think it's, you can start as early as possible. So now if we find ourselves today here, we're in November. So let's start with today. If realistically you haven't planned, that's okay. You're not too late. We still have some time. We have this month and next month to get into it. So let's start today. It's not too late. We just need to start. And I think um, to just break it down, it's don't look at it as a very big thing. Mm -hmm. Simplify it. Just take your pen and your paper, write down what do you want to have for this particular season. And Ingrid, even as we go down to get into planning, I want to say this today, that as we start the planning, let's start with January. Plan for January first, then come back to December. And why am I saying this? Because for January, you have a lot of essential things. Mm -hmm. You will need to pay rent. You will need to pay school fees if you have a child. You'll need to eat. You'll need to pay electricity and all the other bills that come with it. So let's start this time round from January and then come back into December. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Nairobi, I would like her, I would like you to explain to us this planning process, what it should look like, right? Mm -hmm. Because for someone who's sitting over here <laughs> where you say, you know, plan for January, moving backwards, I may not really exactly know where to start. Mm -hmm. So when you're thinking through this planning process, what should go into it, right? Mm -hmm. So should I write down Christmas food, mm -hmm. 20K, mm -hmm. Christmas clothes, mm -hmm. just give us a rundown, a breakdown of even when you sit down, so that's to make it foolproof and have all the loose ends tied up, yes. what should the planning process look like? Mm -hmm. What should individuals think about even yes. when they're coming up with this plan for mm -hmm. the festive season? Okay, great. So as I had said, I said we start with January. So we'll start with the January budget and we'll start with the essentials, the things that you can't live without. So and I sh I'm, I'm sure those are the things that we do even currently. I hope that we plan for the things that we can't live without. But even if we don't, let's start. So we'll start with thinking about where you live. So your rent, we'll think about um, your clothes, for example, if you need to get any. We'll think about food. We'll think about your utilities, the things that you can't live without. Mm -hmm. So once we are done with that, now we can come into the festive season. And and remember, we are now looking back and seeing, okay, we've been able to sort out everything that we require for January. Now let's come back and see how much do we have in our kitty. Then now from that kitty, we can then plan. And I like the way you asked, are we going to write Christmas food 20,000? It's true, it's a reality. And the, the sooner we factor it, the better we're able to plan. So yes, we'll write Christmas food. We'll also write maybe decorations. We'll talk about uh, maybe gifts, we want to give gifts to people. But the thing we'll need to remember is we are working with what we have. So in the event that we realize what we have maybe might not cater for all these needs, then we can begin to cross them out. And I'd, I'd ask guys to just write down everything you desire, but be realistic. Because at the end of the year, we acknowledge it's also been a tough year. It's actually, a, you know, a tough two years. Right. Yeah. Right. So a lot has been going on. So let's write it down and then let's prioritize. If we're looking at something like Christmas, the beauty about it is we have some reusable items. Let's not forget about that. Mm -hmm. So let's go back to the reusable items and let's unpack them. Let's see. Is everything working? Yes, it is. So if, for example, if you had a Christmas tree, cross that out you already have one if you had christmas lights cross that out and then this season is a season for family so i would like to ask guys you know let's join together so let's say if you're celebrating it with your, your sister your mom your dad your parents sit down together if we could plan together the better because what we this will do is like for christmas food ingrid as you are saying instead of twenty thousand, you'll realize we are five if we can all pull in then maybe ingrid can contribute four thousand the other person will contribute four thousand so the weight also draws back so we don't get overwhelmed and feel like hey, hey, hey this is a lot of money i don't have it what do i do yeah so pull in people together and let's do it together so that it makes it easier and then another thing we need to look at is we have all these points you know we walk into supermarkets and we have points let's redeem the points so that if you don't have cash or if you're cash strapped you have some points what can you do with those points right. so again going back to your list this is what you want to acquire you have the points take up the points redeem them get what you need mm. but the thing we need to remember is some, sometimes we won't be able to have everything so let's prioritize right. Let's prioritize so that nothing catches us by surprise and we also don't find ourselves in that excitement and then we begin to feel like, oh my God, what do I do? So for me, as a mom, some of the places that I can plug is, you know, we can also look into thrifting. Like for example, if I'm thinking about buying my children's stuff, I realize my budget is a little, I can look into thrifting instead of buying new things. And there are so many interesting thrift stores, even on Instagram these days and Facebook, you can mm -hmm. find some really cool thrift stores that have really nice stuff that's affordable. Mm -hmm. And another thing that I usually look up to, as me, this is my opinion, I go to House of Leather a lot. So yes. many things that you can buy for the kids, prices. even for adults. Mm. The prices are very good. And things like cards, if you have children, this would be an exciting time to do it yourself. Mm. I mean, we've embraced CBC. There's so much that's going on yes. there. Why don't we use those skills? Imagine if you got a card from, you know, your daughter or your son or your niece or nephew that's handwritten, stuck with the beautiful little butterflies that they cut out from somewhere. It, it adds so much value because it's sentimental. Mm. So those are some of the things that we can begin to think of we can still have an amazing time with a good budget but the thing about it is that we plan so that there will be no surprise once we are looking at it we'll be able to tell so once you've written down your and imagine it's not going to pull down the fan in fact what it's gonna do is help you be comfortable right. because now you know yay we have the tree we have the lights we have the money for the food and Ingrid is coming with her 4k I'm coming with my 4k John is coming with his 4k so already food is sorted down then we go to next you know if we're having some drinks what are they how much are they if we are going to go somewhere maybe outside and have a picnic 
take? How much will that cost? Mm -hmm. How much is the transport cost? So we are ready. So we are coming into a season where we are going to have some fun, but we'll have fun knowing what to expect. Mm -hmm. So that when we get to January, we are happy. We want to, this time around, let's give it a try. Let's try I'm and be so happy ready. walking into January. Oh gosh, I'm ready as it. well. I'm absolutely and ready. actually, Ruby, even with some of these DIY projects you're talking about where yes. you make the cards with your kids, I feel like that would also create a very nice bonding moment, which Correct. is really what the holidays are about. Yes. But if we're talking about the excitement that mm. comes with the season, yes. I would also like to talk about the promotions, the mm. offers that are always out there when it comes to December. Yes. I'm always one of those people who's baited by those <laughs> offers. And yeah. usually, I mean, you look at one thing and it costs so little, but before you've mm. bought so much and it has added up mm. and you're stuck in a rut. Yes. So my question is when taking advantage of these offers, mm. is it recommended? Mm -hmm. Should you really go heavy on taking advantage of promotions, discounts, offers, mm. or is that where you go wrong and you end up getting caught in a trap? What would you say on mm. that? That's an excellent question. So um, Ingrid, currently we're going into Black Friday, yeah? and I know there are so many deals. You know, you see phones, you see this at, at affordable prices. Right. But remember, affordable is relative to your budget. We would think it's affordable, right. but you need to go back and look to it. So remember the plan we talked about. In fact, some of the festive things that you need, this would be a good time to buy them because they're Black Friday deals. But what we are saying is even as you're getting excited over the um, the sales and the discounts and all that you're going to see, remember, we have a plan. Mm. So what is our plan? And so this plan would cut across. So if you're looking at Black Friday deals, for example, because you have a December plan and you have a January plan, you can look at maybe some things that you need for school. If they are affordable now, yay, because you can begin, you can tick off that and save some money from right. it. Then we go into the festive one, the December one. Some things that you need for December, absolutely get them at a deal for sure. But to avoid getting those things that you then look at and you're looking at them in January and you're like, can I sell this? Would someone be willing to buy this? Right. Do I really need this? That's why we come back to the plan. Mm. So the key thing is to always have a plan. And it's a simple plan. It's just written down. And there's a lot of power in writing. Because everything you write down, you're, you're then able to reflect. You know, you can turn the page back and say, like, oh, okay, I've gotten this, I've gotten this, I've not yet gotten this. Oh, there's a Black Friday deal here. This is the time to get it. Mm. Yeah. Now, Ruby, I love the emphasis you've put on the <coughs> importance of actually having a plan. Mm. But I could be wrong. But mm. in my head, a plan is mm. also kind of synonymous mm. with a budget, right? Yes. So when we come to the festive season mm. and budgeting for the festive season, mm. we cannot um, well underscore the fact that regardless of the fact that this is a whole season that people look forward to. Mm. In fact, when it comes to the festive season, I always feel like you spend so much for one day yes. that you would even ideally spend as a house in a month, right? right. Yeah. So that the normal daily expenditures that you'll still incur, those won't go away, but mm. you also still have to plan for the festive season. Yes. So when it comes down to budgeting, mm -hmm. does it require to have a separate budget for the festive season from mm -hmm. the one of day-to-day -day expenses? How mm. do you go about making sure that the money still sustains you, right? Because mm. now you have two things to cater to, but the same income source. Correct. Yes. So if you, for example, if you've been budgeting from earlier, then you already have an existing monthly budget for everything. But even if you haven't, this is the time to start. So write down the November budget. Let that be the guide. Yeah, You have the things that are obvious that you must always cater for. Then you have now the money that's left. Yes, create a holiday budget. And remember, you're creating it after you've already sorted out the January one. So you, the January one, you separate, you figured it out. So let's say, for example, after creating your January budget, let's say you're left with 20K. Now come down and write for this. And that's maybe if it's totally your income or if of Let's work with, depending on however much you want to spend, but it has to be reflective of your budget. So you've paid the bills in January, you have 20K left. Come and write down the holiday budget. Write it down. If for some people, they might be lucky you had begun maybe to plan earlier for a holiday trip, yay for you, because it means it was already in your budget. So for this month, probably you're taking maybe the last installment of a trip that you're paying for, so that is already set. But now, for these other things, here is the 20K. What do I do with it? So begin to write. We need, as we said, you know, we'll need extra food because we eat a lot. This is a time for eating right. and binging and having a lot of fun. You know, we want to do decorations. We want to do gifts. So now, depending on your budget, you can then come back and say, maybe earlier we used to give gifts to our entire extended family. But now when I look at my budget, it's a bit of a struggle. Mm. So as we had said, maybe can I do the do-it-yourself cards for everybody? But for the gifts, I leave it maybe to my nuclear family. So now this budget is the one that will guide you. And now this is the holiday budget. So you've already sorted out January. You've already sorted out November and December in terms of bills so now you're looking at what you have left right. and then now we capitalize on this yeah 
Ruby, at this point, I'm going to take a very, very short break. But if your audience, our audience back home, I know you probably don't want to turn that dial or move away because we have a lot more coming your way after the break in terms of preparing for the festive season. And remember, you can be a part of this conversation by your, by sending your feedback to our social media handles at Metropole TVK on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We'll be right back. <laughs> 